Hey Jim. Hi Katie. How are you doing today? Pretty good, but I have a statistics exam coming up and I'm having a problem figuring out the matched pairs t-test. Can you help? I think so. First, you need to know when to use the matched pairs t-test. If you have one sample but two measures for each individual, it's a matched pairs t-test. You have two columns of numbers, but each row is just one individual. But if you have two separate groups, it's an independent samples t-test. You have two columns but the individuals in the second column aren't the same individuals as column one. So, would a pre-test post-test where each person takes a test, then attends a health session, and then takes another version of the test be a matched pairs t-test? Yeah, that's right. A repeated measures design, like a pre-test post-test, is the most frequently used matched pairs t-test. Can you give me an example of a matched pairs t-test that doesn't have repeated measures? Sure. Think about comparing the prices of groceries at Kroger's and Walmart. Would you want two separate samples of products or one sample and get prices at both stores? If you had two samples, you wouldn't have the same products in your basket so you wouldn't have good comparison. That's right. You want to compare apples to apples or, better yet, get the price of Granny Smith apples at both stores. Then, let X be the difference in price. So if the apples were $1.99 a pound at Kroger's and $1.79 at Walmart, X equals 20 cents for that observation. Yes, then if the price of a Haas avocado is 99 cents at Kroger's and $1.09 at Walmart, X equals minus 10 cents. Note that I subtracted in the same order, Kroger's minus Walmart. I think have the next part. Compute the sample mean and sample standard deviation of the X values. I think some texts use D instead of X, where D equals difference. Then, the null hypothesis is that the population mean of the differences is zero and the alternative is based on the problem context. So, in the pretest post test, if you used X equals post test minus pretest, the alternative is that the population mean of the differences is greater than zero. Then if you just wanted to know if prices differed at Kroger's and Walmart, then, the alternative hypothesis is that the population mean of the differences is not equal to zero. Does it always have to be zero? Technically it could be another number, but the most kind and generous Dr. Roach said we would just use zero in our problems. He said most texts do that. Once we get this far, it's just a t-test, right? You got it. Thanks. I've got it now.